And, uh, welcome back if you just watched the first part of this, uh, and, um, if you didn't, then, uh, hey, <laughs> what's up? Um, I had a little bit more to say, and I knew it was gonna be more than what is allotted to me on YouTube, so I'm going to move on to my next argument, which is, um, I was gonna say, hey, it's the last day of February, and when you think of February, everyone, at least in America, thinks of, you know, love, and Valentine's Day month, and then second is a Black History Month, so woohoo. And uh, the crazy thing I realized is that Black History Month has been, I don't know, crazy in, you know, the K-pop industry with the whole uh, Jenny Hoon situation and Jeremy Lin and the whole uh, blackface controversy on NBC, is it NBC, NBS, NBC, um, <laughs> sorry, I don't even know properly the channel, but, uh, yeah, so I uh, looked into the uh, blackface, blackface situation on the quiz show and how um, people got really mad about how uh, offensive that is, and I can understand the whole blackface is offensive because you know, black. So, I mean, and especially, it's, uh, I know, um, I think this whole blackface thing, the thing that makes it controversial and offensive is. Okay, someone can be doing blackface, and you know the the black their skin and the way, and they're not stereotypically, and they're not you know acting like a stereotype or whatever is like not the uh, the punchline, the joke of it all. It's uh, what they say. Like uh, for example, uh, which was a good example that I saw, which is uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s role in Tropic Thunder. He was funny. What he was portraying, like, as the, him being black, like, the whole black thing, that wasn't funny. But in this skit, that's what they, it seemed like they were laughing at. And, um, I'm not gonna say that, uh, I've, I know I've seen videos that say, you know, well, Koreans are, they're not really racist. It's more like they're ignorant. And I understand that because I, um, I talk to, uh, my friend, she really knows a lot about uh, South Korea and stuff, and um, I don't, I don't believe they're racist. It, I mean, I'm sure there are racist Koreans, but um, it's more of a they don't have, I don't know, they're just not knowledgeable of you know other cultures. They live under a rock because there's a lot of things I've heard that I'm like, really, they they don't know that. So. Um, I don't know, they just need to, to fix that, especially because, I mean, they're supposedly highly educated or whatever, but they don't know these things, and especially if they want to expand into the West, they can't be doing things like this. And, um, I understand people's arguments of, oh, the skit wasn't trying to be racist or offensive, they were just portraying a cartoon character, and I can, you know... I can argue that. One is uh, someone pointed out that they've never, I've never watched it. I've watched parts of an, of an episode or two of the cartoon show, I think it was like Dooley or something. And um, I can understand they're trying to be this uh, black character in the, the show, so it's just fine. But uh, the thing I, I don't understand is, um, well I read that, you know, this character doesn't wear, you know, a Lakers jersey and gold chains and whatever, and looking at this character, I cannot see them stereotypically wearing, like, a jersey, whatever, and all these gold chains hanging on, like, Flav Flav. So, I mean, that point is kind of invalid in a way. I mean, it's like, we know you're trying to be this character, but, uh, if you're gonna try to be this character, you need to dress like that character, and the, and it seemed like the people were laughing at them just being black, not the, what they were doing. So, that's, uh, not cool. And I know there's instances of, uh, stare, you know, people
exposing stereotypes here, but I mean, it's not to that extent, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, so my second point is, as a cosplayer, <laughs> You don't have to ju you don't have to do blackface to be the character. I mean, I've been going to conventions since 2004, and I've seen people of all shapes and colors dress up as characters that are not of their race, and I'm one of those people. Most of the cosplays that I do are Asian people or characters. Um, or they're just, you know, light skin, and they're more than half of them are male. So that that doesn't make sense. I I do not try to like make myself look more, you know, pale or white or Asian or anything to portray these characters. I just stay as me, and I just put the costume on, style myself up, like hair or makeup or whatever, and go as that. And that's me. And people can tell that, oh, you're this character or this person or whatever, without going to the extreme of changing my skin. So I think that if you're going to be a character and you're painting it, you don't have to go that far. Because cosplayers do it all the time. So. And nobody better argue that I did whiteface in one of my videos. Because I was not. That is how the band is. So. If you know what video I'm talking about, then. Yeah, that's what I meant. Because my. I know my parents were concerned about that. And I was like, no. This is how the band dresses up. So. They put on white paint on their faces. So I'm going to put white paint on my face too. It's not. You know some equalized black face white face thing or something that's just how they dress up so even my my two friends that were part of this group they put on white paint too because it was part of the makeup so moving on into the whole Jenny Hume thing uh, I kind of skimmed through her uh, WordPress and I saw that um, I saw some people arguing that she may be legitimately, you know, sick. Like, mentally sick. So I investigated that some, and she does mention it a few times that she's been having problems and been taking medication because she's a bipolar or something. I guess there's like some other side of her that's more violent and aggressive which is sad. So, I mean, whether she is, and uh, also her mother is, I think, or something, but, uh, and nonetheless, um, whether she's sick or not, like, mentally sick or not, she still shouldn't have said what she said. Uh, I mean, there's just no excuse, because even in one of her posts, she said that, I mean, and even in someone's comment, they said that you cannot tell which is the real them, and which is just, you know, that other side of them. Like, their other personality, or their bipolar side, or whatever. You still have to treat them like a, a regular person to some extent. You just, you just can't wave them off completely, because what she said was inappropriate. And also, on that note, since I did make a Jenny Hume video, um, Thank you for all the support for those people who left me positive comments. And I've only had two people say something negative about my video. Um, so I want you to uh, address that. If you were going to try to start drama with me, or try to, you know, argue some stupid point about whatever I said or how I say it, one, do not reference some talentless artist, musician, whoever, as your point. Uh, sorry SNSD fans, but yeah, someone quoted, well not quoted, but mentioned an SNSD member to, I guess, start drama or whatever, and honestly, I laugh because I, I just can't take that seriously, okay? Because I don't think those girls are, they, to me, they just don't have personality, so therefore, in my head, 
they're probably not going to be that smart. Sorry. It could be judge. I'm completely judging or something. I don't know. But, it, whatever. And second, don't complain about the way I speak. Because I'm... This person who, uh, he tried to start something, I guess, but, uh, a couple of friends came to my defense, even though I didn't really need it, but I thank them anyway, because that's what friends are for, they come to your defense when you don't even need it, you don't need to ask for it, but I don't like people who complain about a stereotype that they are in, like, I guess as a black person complaining that... I hate when other people say that we talk this way or we act this way or whatever that is so cruel yet they will go back to someone who doesn't act that way that is not stereotypically like that like myself I am not I don't think I am stereotypically black I mean I even say that I'm a Oreo to some point but I really don't care but they go back to that person who does not fit the stereotype and they attack them for being different which is totally you know, contradicting. And I hate that. So, screw all of you who feel that way. Okay? So, I talk like a person, so that's the way I talk. I'm sorry. I don't have some, like, ghetto twang or whatever the stereotype is for my race or act the way I do or act that way. This is how I am. This is how I grew up. Sorry, you have to deal with it. If you don't like the way I act or talk or whatever, you can go see yourself through the door, move on to another channel, move on to another video, because obviously you're wasting your time listening to me. That's all I have to say. Uh, so to end the video, I'm going to quickly say this, stuff about the blog, um, I'm doing another segment called Second Chances, which is uh, taking uh, artists, musicians that... I either hated or liked in the beginning and don't like them or hate them. I mean, I, or I, yeah, I don't like them and, or I hate them or whatever. You know, the opposite of that. So, um, I, so that's gonna be on my blog now. Uh, I think, like, a couple examples. One is in black. They're one of my first ones. I started writing it, uh, yesterday. Uh, another example is MIA. Like, I used to, like, not like her, and now I, like, love her. Um, so, that's the example of what second, second chances are. Uh, music video reviews, uh, not music video reviews, music reviews, it's the music. Um, for a while, I still have a list of, uh, CDs I have to review that are from, like, last year, so I just have to deal with it until I can update my library and if I don't get to do that this weekend then you guys just have to wait until spring break sorry and um also don't expect Big Bang's two new videos to be in my recs either don't complain either I have my reasons they're not that great and I'm a big I am a big big fan I'm not gonna call myself a VIP at all but uh they can do better so, uh, fans, stop settling for less. And lastly, the poll. Go check that out on the blog. It's about to end today at, I think, 11.59. So, vote for it closes, but uh, most likely it looks like I will be answering uh, surface personal questions about myself. So, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to send them in. It'll be on the same email to say... Um, if, you know, it's about a specific uh, subject, I guess. Um, I guess I'll leave instructions for it uh, when I the poll's over or something. Anyway, that is it. Uh, I'm gonna go do the laundry and uh, Spanish homework and uh, listen to more music and hopefully update my blog some more. At least try to be ahead of the game. Thank you guys for all the support. Um. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel since it's new and I'm still trying to build up on it. And um, don't forget to send me questions. I love getting questions and you can still send me requests because I will take them. And um, I guess that's it. Everyone have a wonderful Wednesday. Relax, enjoy the sun. 
it's sunny where you are. Peace, guys.